Hey guys, what's up? It's Pseudo Pluto here, and this is the last of the tier list video, and we're doing Linux desktop environments. And so, Budgie. Yeah, it's, it's pretty okay, I guess. Um, <laughs> it, it feels like a weird mix of, like, um, Cinnamon and, like, uh, Mate, so... It, and it is a pretty small, like, desktop environment. It, it matters less than being, like, a small distro, um, because... It's just a desktop environment, but still, it's it's weird when bugs aren't aren't like ironed out early on. And I don't know its future concerning Wayland, so it, it's fun when I used um, Solus, but I, I, it's okay, I guess. Never heard of this, so I'm not gonna rank it deep in. Um, my bleeding. It's just a weird, weird distro. Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's Enlightenment or something else. Um, I'll wait till that. I think this is Enlightenment. I think it's like free BSD something. I have no idea what this logo is. LXQT. No, LXDE. My arms are bleeding. It's terrible. <laughs> like, I don't know why I'd use LXDE over XFCE if you had the choice, if I'm being honest. Um, the the, the application, applications included with uh, XFCE are just better than the ones that are included with LXDE by a long shot, like, come on. I, I, I don't know who uses this. LXQT, haven't used it, Mate. Um, it's pretty good, to be honest. Um, actually, no, it's okay with, I guess. Um, it's, it's like more of like a, I don't really know where it fits in, especially now that XFCE is getting like a GTK3 um, port. It's 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 pretty much like in the same boat, and I'll just use them interchangeably. So I'll just put that here too. Um, KD Plasma, I would I would recommend that to a friend. Um, like it was my daily driver for a while, um, but uh, honestly, there's like not a lot of good distros that support KD Plasma. And so by switching distros to something like Fedora, right? Um, I switched by GNOME. Like if there was a good Plasma distro, I would use that over GNOME. But right now there's no good distro really shipping Plasma. And really that's, that's part of the desktop environment, right? Like who's shipping it and what version they're shipping it with, right? So like, like what, like, the three best like distros shipping um, Plasma are like OpenSUSE, um, Kubuntu, and KD Neon, and all three of them have their like own issues, you know, um, like all of them have their quirks. So there's no like like canonical or like um, like S tier like KD distro. So. I, I can't make KDE S tier. I'm sorry. I like the project. I like the applications. Um, I think it's just held by back by like nobody really distributing it well. I mean, Arch is there, but uh, honestly, like Arch and KDE is a good combo, but I don't think. The reason why KD is good on Arch is not of a merit of KD itself. It's a fact that Arch is able to leverage KDE to make it like a really good experience, if that makes any sense, right? Um, GNOME, Daily Driver, is gone pretty good, um, especially with the later versions. Memory leak issues are solved, stuttering is solved, it's leading the way in Wayland. No 40 is interesting, but at least they're they're innovating. Um, I think this is the KDE4 or KDE3 backport. I've never used this, that's true. I think this is like the sugar live USB desktop environment. But I would never use this. It's, it's honestly a meme. Um, LXQT, um, not gonna rank it. I have no idea what this is. Enlightenment is a weird, a weird desktop environment. I don't know if anybody's used it even still on X11. I have no idea what this is, so I'll just make it like awesome window manager, uh, i3, or um, Sway. 
Um, I guess it's okay. Tiling window managers are okay. Um, there are a lot of pain to set up. It's kind of like Arch in that way. Um, ready arm configs. Um, some of them are better. They have, you know, like you can make tiling windows um, kind of like floating. So that that really helps out. Like you're not hard bound to only using keyboard shortcuts and only having tiling windows. But on the flip side, there's a lot of tiling window extensions for GNOME now. And um, so a lot of the benefits that you get with a tiling window manager are just not existing um, when you use GNOME, right? And it has a lot of the drawbacks of like no um, handlers for like audio cues or screen savers or, or stuff like that, right? Like you have to cobble together your own like cohesive desktop environment. I don't I love the people who actually do it and like writes it. Like I love R slash Unix porn, but I would never, I would never wish it upon someone to like use it seriously or like wish it upon a friend to use it seriously. But I appreciate it exists and um yeah, I think I'll put it above budgie there. Um yeah, and then these I have no idea what they are. So that is my ranking of desktop environments. Um probably made people angry since GNOME is very easily hated on and a lot of these are very much loved like tiling window managers and xfce and stuff like that but hopefully it's entertainment and hopefully hopefully it was a little bit enlightening um you could see why i have some justification for these things and it'll help you reason about it and yeah i finally thought of my next video and it's how i record these videos on um linux which is going to be interesting because i'm using just a standard laptop, but I'm doing it with like hardware acceleration. And so I thought I'd share my settings for OBS in the next video. Anyways, see you guys later. Pseudo Pluto out.